Hello guys, um, welcome back to latest debris. So today on the headlines, Gabe Okoye runs for US Senate. Gabe left his engineering business for two years to rebuild the Gwinnett Democratic Party. Let us support him now. Gabe is a fighter for immigrants. In the Senate, I'm sure he will fight for you too. Gabe was a great chairman of the Gwinnett Democratic Party. He made our party what it is today. He is passionate about the struggles of women, which is why he appointed women to 11 of the 13 of our standing committees. And that is why I will vote for Gabe on August 11th. Gabe is a representative of the immigrants. Now is the moment that he pele for us too in the Senate. Remember to vote on August 11th. You know, it is important as we uh talk about racial equality, that we also address the economic disparity uh, that's prevalent in our county. And that is why um, uh, we're doing something about it. We're bringing some of the uh, uh, yeah. black bishops okay. and pastors in the county together with some of the political leaders. Mm -hmm. We are trying to get started uh, financial institutions for the minorities. Because, as you know, many times we go to the banks and uh, it's difficult to secure loans. So we want to make sure that uh, the minorities are able to get loans to start or expand their small businesses. Because if everybody is well off, it will even help to uh, uh, dampen the uh, racial uh, discord that has been uh, prevalent uh, and going on in the country these days. And uh, I will come back to you with another issue on another date. But remember, August 11th is a runoff date. So please vote for me. Vote for Gabe. Thank you. A Nigerian, Mr. Gabe Okoye, is on the ballot in the forthcoming Democratic Party senatorial primary runoff election in the United States. Okoye, who hails from Enubu Aguleri in Anambra is seeking the main opposition party ticket for the November 3rd general election into the Georgia State Senate to represent District 9. Okoye, who is a chieftain of the party in the state, faces a black female challenger, Nikki Merritt, in the second round scheduled for August 11. The both advanced to the runoff stage after defeating a third aspirant, Cheryl Moses, in the first round of the primary held on June 9. The winner will face the, the incumbent, Senator Peter Martin, a Republican, who has been representing the district since 2015 and is seeking a fourth term. Okoye is currently a planning commissioner in Gwinnett County, the second most populous local government in Georgia, and is the first black man to serve as a commissioner in the state country's 202 year history. The civil engineer and founder of Georgia based construction firm Essex Geoscience also currently serves as, on the um, executive Committee Board of the Gwinnett and State Chapters of the Democratic Party. Among other goals, Okoye is seeking to capture the District 9 seat from the Republic Party, which has been, which held it for over 30 years, with nothing to show for it. He told the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, that he was also aspiring to give the Black community in Gwinnett County his base a strong voice at the state level. In this regard, the senatorial hopeful, hopeful carved a niche for himself while serving as the Democratic Party chairman in the local government between 2016 and 2018. As of that time, he emerged the party chairman in 2016. Gwinnett was a Republican stronghold with only five of the 25 elected officials in the county being Democrats. However, the tide turned when Okoye led the party into the 2018 midterm elections and recorded historic wins. The captured 13 elected offices, including the majority of Queenette seats in the Georgia State Legislature from the Rep Republicans, who currently hold only seven positions.
The Democratic Party swept the two county commission seats that were up for election and also took one of the two school board seats contested for. Also, the party reclaimed the office of the Solicitor General of the county after decades in the hands of the Republicans. Under my leadership of the party, we elected the first black commissioner, the first black school board member, and also the first black solicitor general of the county as its 200-year history as of 2018. The Democratic Party also produced the first black state judge from this country under my watch, Okoye told Nan. In recognition, in recognition of this historic achievement in Gwinnett, the Georgia House of Representatives in Resolution 313 of 2019 designated November 6th of that year as Gabe Okoye Leadership Day. The resolution party read Gwinnett County is the most diverse and second largest county in the state of Georgia, but this diversity was not reflected in the county's leadership. Gabe Okoye exhibited great leadership in mobilizing and educating the various nine communities of Gwinnett County on the fundamental right to vote. He worked hard to help make the leadership of the country more inclusive and the result of his hard work was made manifest during the general state, um, the general election on November 6, 2018. Therefore, be, um, therefore, be it resolved by the House of Representatives that members of this body commend Gabe Okoye and recognize November 6, 2019 as Gabe Okoye Leadership Day in Gwinnett County. Okoye moved to the U.S. in 1981 and has been residing in Lawrenceville, a suburb of Atlanta and headquarters of Gwinnett County since 1992. On arrival in the U.S., he started life as a security guard, worked his way through college to become a licensed civil engineer, and later became an established excess geoscientist, married and blessed with four green and grown and successful children. Okay, believed believes he has realized his American dream and is fighting for others to realize that. Therefore, I will give a fearless, strong voice of the silent majority in our district and our county in general, he said on his campaign website. A former chairman of the Nigerians in Diaspora Organization, American, NIDOA, Okoye told Nan that, the, uh, that another of his main objectives was to bring the Nigerian community into the mainstream of the U.S. politics. Okoye, who represented Nigerians in the diaspora at, Tufu, at the 214 National Conference in Abuja, described the essence of his fellow con countrymen in the U.S. political and civic space in spite of their enormous contributions to the country's development. What we in Nigeria do here is to attend our various ethnic meetings and then go home. Our people don't mix with the mainstream of this country and I think it is wrong. I also think that we are not leading our children the right way. We should clear the way for them into American politics. We don't hear our names in the political lexicon of this area. I want to encourage our children to go into politics, he told Nan. Um, so that is the end of the news. Um, so we have um comments here. The Ibo Amaka crew will soon arrive. Um, a comment here again. But when it was alleged that one of Buhari's ambassadorial nominees was from Nigeria, I pop lunatics were all over social media grunting aloud. Okay, we have another comment here. Drop your line. I want to call you and tell you that um Ibo Amaka. Um, a comment here again. Um, all the best to him. Um, another comment here, Ibo Amaka again. Um, so since people are actually really proud of him, of what he is doing in um America. So um, a comment here again. All the very best. This is a society that works. 
that won't say because you are black or hispanic or because you are from another tribe we can't contest or we cannot vote for you in an election but you see some swines and tribalistic by god here claiming they can't vote for Igbo, house or you because they are not from the same tribe they can only vote for people from their tribes even if they are well-known thieves you will see them celebrating thieves and politicians that have looted their lives inside out looted the lives of their unborn unborn kids and their on um um they are okay with it as long as he or he's our brother with this set of youths their future remains bleak now body could tell all of una where tribalism and hatred will take you to your empty brain um a comment here again just a state senator not a real senate okay and so what seriously um a comment here again so good so it seems people are actually appreciating um his effort to go into the state senate in america and maybe enter the realms of politics so that is it for today the news of today so um thanks for listening thanks for tuning in to latest breeze and please drop your comments and please subscribe to our youtube channel and like the video have a nice day today and god bless you